um, and I just wish that you could kind of wave a magic wand and make it all better for them because they're really really going through it at the moment. We'll see what tomorrow brings and let's hope it's well, good luck for all of us. Uh -huh. We'll find out then. Bye. It's the day of reckoning at Dog Borstal. In less than three hours' time, Rocky, Ellie, and Biz are due to face the toughest Borstal challenge yet. Each trainer has devised a rigorous test, but will everyone get to graduate from Dog Borstal? The test today will be marked by a tough, independent assessor. Ryan O'Meara is an expert dog trainer. His word is final in deciding who will graduate from Dog Borstal this week. Nerves are running high in the kennel block as the owners complete their morning duties. Ellie, sit. No. But before the test starts, Andy and Mel are called to an emergency meeting. A bit unusual going to see Rob without the dog. I decided we wouldn't do a test. I think it would be um, irresponsible of me to set them a test that was, you know, easy enough for them to pass and for them to walk away thinking their dog's graduated and he's fine, because he's not and he won't be for a very long time. It's been a hard week, but some progress has been made. For you, the defining moment was when you stood out on that field and you shouted at the top of your lungs that you are not going to win. And for me, I thought that was a real turning point for you because that was the first time that I saw in you the real belief that you were going to beat this dog. And he lost, you know, which isn't something Biss is used to doing. No. I don't think he is a bad dog. I think he's a misguided dog. But I think, like most dogs, he just needs pointing in the right direction. And the more of that he gets, I think the quicker he'll progress. I've said to them I intend to keep in touch with them once they leave here, and they should view this as a long-term program. No short-term cures happening here. We haven't got the dog as far as we'd like to, but on Andrew's side, it, he's got more confidence and he's more relaxed with the dog, which, with that, will help to get him further now. Biss is leaving Dog Borstal on probation. With only two dogs left to graduate, the pressure's on Kinter to control Ellie. This time it's, it's down to us, so uh, I'm hoping it won't be complete chaos and that I'll have some control over Ellie. Just four days ago, Ellie was a manic collie who broke all the rules. The first test will demonstrate whether Ellie has learned how to get out of the car like a lady. Sit. If Ellie misbehaves, Kinta will lose marks. Good girl. Stay. Stay. No. No. Sit. Sit. Stay. No. Sit. 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 Okay. And stay. Next, Ellie will have to jump on command and ignore a canine audience. Ellie here. What's this? Hop! 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 <laughs> Ellie! Don't worry about the yeah. jump. Go on, go for it then. Girl. Good girl. Hop! Hop! And sit. Good girl. Finally, Ellie will have to recall from 50 meters whilst surrounded by other dogs. Stay. 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 Come on, Ellie. Come on, Ellie. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Fantastic. Having seen her, I thought there's no way she's not going to lunge at these other dogs, and she did unbelievably well. You should be really proud. Thank you. Okay. Here's a certificate. Oh, lovely. For the That's wall. Great. Thank you very much. And this could be the, frame. <laughs> the first of possibly many oh. rosettes for her.
You pleased? I'm absolutely delighted. You should be as well. <laughs> Fantastic. I was oh, watching you and I'm going, oh, good, good girl. girl. Ellie Depp. No, well done, mate. I can't shake your hand. That's I've got right. the thing. Well I, mean, I mean, the test really, to me, just highlights that you do know what you're going to be doing when you get home. Yes, you know, I mean... And you, you're able to cope, cope with any kind of situation that yeah. comes towards you, to be fair. Uh, I think she coped fantastic. I think you coped fantastically. Good girl. We've gone from Ellie training Kinta to Kinta training Ellie. The final dog to face the judge is Rocky. The question today isn't really about if she passes this test, it's when she passes this test, because she will, I guarantee that. But Alicia's not so confident. Today, Rocky's kind of gone back to being a bit jumpy and playful kind of behaviour. I need to be more strong with him today. Otherwise, he's going to knock up the test. A week ago, 10 stone Rottweiler Rocky guarded his owner like a jealous boyfriend. But after intensive training at Borstal, has fat Rocky shaped up enough to pass? Wait. Wait. Up. Good boy. Boy. Hop. Good boy. Good boy. Hop. 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 Good boy. So far, so good. But Rocky is about to go head to head with four other dogs. All Mick can do is watch and wait. You. I've got to be honest, watching that test, I think I'm looking at high 80s, perhaps even 90s mark. I can't see where she's dropped any marks at all, except perhaps at the beginning. We'll have your results here. Right. And even you must know that you passed that test. <laughs> and you passed with distinction. Oh, that's brilliant. You, you absolutely incredible test. You should be very proud of yourself and proud of him. Here is a red rosette for the pass with distinction. Say thank you. And a certificate for you all. Thank you. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Here we are. Good boy. It's been fun, hasn't it? Wasn't meant to be fun, but it has been. <laughs> 98. I mean, no one's going to beat that now. Can he touch you? Can he touch you? Where is Rob, by the way? I, you know, he seems, seems, doesn't seem to be around. His car's gone. Uh, usually doing his test now. Oh, that's right, he bit up and he? he failed. And uh, Lynn and she got a yellow. Very quiet now, aren't they? 90 <coughs> Can you touch him? Ellie and Rocky have successfully graduated from Borstal. Back in Sunderland, has Rocky shaped up? Rocky has lost a lot of weight and um, you can see just by looking at him he's starting to be a lot more defined. Rocky definitely now knows where he is in the pack, he's below me and that is where he's going to stay as well. Now I'm a lot more happy with Rocky, in fact it's, it's a pleasure to have Rocky in the house. After their difficult week at Borstal, trainer Robert kept his word and paid Andy and Mel a visit to check their progress. <laughs> and we're, we're much more consistent between the two of us now. Um, we are not talking to him like a child. We're not having long-winded conversations uh -huh. with him. You know, we're just giving him sit, you know, um... Stay. Stay. Go. Go. Just keep educating him the way you're doing. You're going in the right direction with everything. We just need 
it to happen quicker. And it's those little things that we need to tweak yes. that will boost your success. And I, and I, they clearly have kept up the work. They do have a long way to go. Um, Andy Mel recognises potential to go wrong and they've done a very good job of dealing with it. It's going to be a long, hard slog. But if they keep at it, they will get there. If they don't, they'll be back at Borstal. And has clever Collie Ellie found an outlet for her energy? Keeps her busy and keeps her mind busy, which is what you need to do with a Border Collie. Keep her doing things and keeping her active. So this is great fun, actually. Yeah. Ellie is still as full of energy, full of life and fun and wanting to play. None of that has been lost through trying to focus her more and give a bit more discipline. Oh, good girl. Isn't it cute, cute? I think she can go all the way. She's a very bright dog, and we'd like to sort of go to the top in working trials. That's our aim. Good girl. Good girl, what's this? Good girl, what's this? Hey. Good girl. Hey. Escape to freedom this Christmas. Happy anniversary. I can listen to six music. Oh, the ashes live. What? Was that? Was that all? I thought you liked it. I do. It's just not very expensive. So eight years, two kids, worth about fifty quid. Yeah. There's no tuning. Just goes straight to the station. To get more from the BBC, do digital. Call 08700 101010. Hi there, I'm Nicky. Christmas cons in a mo. First, a quick hit of news from me. Top Gear's Richard Hammond still has no memory of the two weeks after his high-speed crash. His first TV interview with Jonathan Ross is being shown tomorrow. Fog cancels Christmas, at least for air travellers who've been grounded by the nasty weather. Hundreds of flights have been cancelled and it'll continue into tomorrow, I'm afraid. A bunch of big record labels are suing all of mp3.com. They say the Russian-based company isn't paying artists their due from music downloaded from its website. Steve Harmison has retired from one-day cricket, saying he wants to concentrate on tests. But Michael Vaughan will be back for the triangular series against the Aussies and New Zealand next month. Keep your Wii away from your fairy lights. That's the advice from Nintendo.